All packed for holiday. Let's just have a quick look on YouTube. See if there's anything interesting to watch before I leave. The last thing I like to do is to speak ill of another magician. However, for the last several years, there's been a magician in the UK who's been claiming credit for this principle. So it's this principle, and it's been around with me for like 15, 20 years. And like I said, uh, you know, I don't like to bad mouth magicians. But just for all of you who are familiar with this other guy, and the, actually the big company that marketed it without my permission, I wanted to set the record straight. Okay? Thank you. Ah! What up? It's your boy Daniel Fatterson, and uh, I'm here to tell you that um, I'm 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 pretty. I'm like the best. I am. I, I am the best. Yeah. 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 Don't know where I'm going with this. So let's deal with the elephant in the room first. Yes, I'm wearing a shirt today. I am going on holiday tomorrow. <clears throat> oh, I can breathe. So yesterday, around 20 or so hours ago. Jay Sankey posted up a YouTube video. Some of you may know Jay Sankey as a, a magician, a creator, and the man who fooled Penn and Teller by not fooling them. <clears throat> and in that little, th I'm gonna take these off. And in that video, he shows a magic trick. And there's one bit of that magic trick that stands out in particular. It's gonna do this very slowly. Tear off a piece very clearly. Now watch. Watch. Good. Okay. Gonna reach down. Got a little bit of a magic wand here. Vanish. I mean, vanish. Gone. Now, some of you might recognize the move. Some of you won't. Some of you will never have seen it before. Completely understandable. But a lot of people recognize that move as something that uh, another magician, a man named Daniel Madison, who you might know as being uh, a magician, a card artist, self-proclaimed best. Something he created called Angle Z, or Angle Z if you And Angle Z allowed you to tear a piece of a card off and instantly make it disappear. Now, in Jay's video, he is clearly doing this move. However, he does specify in his video that he believes he came up with the move first and he goes and shows proof as to where the move came from. Back in literally 1987, Richard Sanders and I did this book, When Creators Collide. Uh, in uh, 1990, I released 100% Sankey. Then uh, in what, Underground Jam in 2005, I released the DVD and on and on. So it's this principle and it's been around with me for like 15, 20 years. And like I said, uh, you know, I don't like to bad mouth magicians, but just for all of you who are familiar with this other guy and the, actually the big company that marketed it without my permission, I wanted to set the record straight. And somehow word made it back to old Danny Maddie, who then released this little teaser video. I say teaser video, it's not really a video. He decided he was going to put a video up and then pushed it back by a few hours, leaving a lot of people on the chat room waiting to see what was going to happen. So eight o'clock rolls by, everyone gets excited. Jay Sank is about to have his butt handed to him. And this is what we get from Madison. I am Daniel Madison. Dear Jay Sankey. This is not going to go how you might expect. Thank you. Now, before I carry on with this clip, it should be noted that I'm going to cut this down a lot for brevity. And as difficult as it is, I forfeit, I submit, I sacrifice my passion and dedication to Angle Zero and I give it, I hand it over to you. I think I did it well. I think I, think I did. I think I did it proud. I had proof of my conception of this, or proof of my first publication of this in my book, in my lecture notes two from 2006, which were actually written in 2005. So everything that I come up with, I come up with on my own. And then afterwards I do the research to see if it exists already. And in this case, 
oh, there was nothing. At the time, there was nothing. Um, when you put that video up, you mentioned me as the British, the, or the English magician. Um, and the proof is right there. Like, I, I'm, it was really nice and pleasant and good to see that you'd actually, you actually have proof, you found proof. I wish you'd have come to me sooner and, and show me that because I would have done something about it. So today, anything of mine that has angle zero in it or a part of it or, or has a profit from angle zero from the pre corn toner, uh, it's all been removed. And while we're on the subject of this one pre torn corner effect, I think it's worthwhile reaching out or addressing the people who have done the same thing with this effect who I've never stood up to I've just sat back and watched because it's not worth my energy to to put time or energy into negativity but there are a lot of people out there who who also profit from the pre-torn corner idea so Jay Sankey I take my I take my Elvis shades off for you um, mad respect, mad love uh, for you and thank you for uh, showing me and helping me find the right path and find the right way on this f up crazy journey. And so there we have it. It's difficult to interpret. He's basically saying, okay, Jay, you came up with it first. However, I did create it independently. Retrospectively, I'm gonna give you credit and I've taken actions to remove any of the old Zero stuff off of the market. But there is a lot of underlying sarcasm within the whole piece. And again, this Jay's video and Daniel's video go to show that we have a, a certain level of maturity in the magic community whereby we can't pick up a phone and just talk to each other about it. My opinion on the whole thing is that they did both create the same effect. They've created it independently of each other. I completely believe that Jay Sankey came up with this effect ages ago and used it in playing cards. I don't see any reason for him to, to lie about that. And I genuinely believe that Daniel Madison came up with this effect of his own accord, however many years ago it was, all right? People are independently creating these things. And I, so I had a look back in my history just in case, you know, I wasn't sure if maybe I created something in the past. And I found this this picture on my mum's fridge, and it's, it's crazy, right? I drew this when I was just a kid. And look, look, you can see, right right here, look, look, there, there's me, there's there's little old me, Magic Dan, Ginger, Ginger, Ginger Magician, and what, I'm, I'm holding a playing card, and the, the, the corner's missed off. I, I could, I could have created Angle Z, what, look, in, in 1980, when I drew this, I could have created Angle Z. But it's fine. Look, Jay, Daniel, you've done so much more work on it than me. I mean, I've, I've got a sad dog. You, you have it. You can own it. I don't, I don't mind. I really don't mind. Look, I've even, it's, uh, I even knew that this was going to happen. Look, I, people just thought I was drawing myself. Look at that. We've got, look, they thought D was for me, Dan. And they thought JS was someone that I, I, I kind of fancied at the time. But look, you've got, you've got little Daniel Madison there with his sunglasses. And there's a little, and there's a little Jay Sankey there with his, with his pinkness. Put that. Just have that. Lovely, lovely. It's very nice, isn't it? Do you like my picture? Uh-huh. It's really good, right? But uh -huh. I came up with this effect uh -huh. when I was young. And these two magicians are arguing over it currently. Hi. Yeah. You were born in 1980. But look, that's me. That's the, the I'm the ginger magician. Right. And then we've got a crying dog and a frog. Yeah, six years before. Yeah. Time travel. But there's probably someone who's come up with the idea before before me. Who's the earliest magician I can think of? Oh, I tell you. What about if we go back to the first person to actually do real miracles?
So I am actually off on holiday tomorrow. I go away to Italy for a little magic conference. It's going to be great. Hopefully I'll film some of it and get up uh, next week. However, I really wanted just to try and get this out while this was still a bit fresh, as it were. So if you did enjoy the video, please uh, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. That really lets me know that you're enjoying them and I'll keep making more. So until next week, stay classy. I need a better, I need a better catchphrase to end videos on. What should I, how should I end videos? Should I just get naked? No, don't be naked. No? No. Bugger.